Well, they were playing with Heath Kitt's Hero Jr. came out in 1984 in kit form. And this is the back side of it, which is where it just happened to end up after it uh, was running. Well, it wanted to play, and I was setting up the camera. It wasn't ready to play. Let's uh, turn it around here. This is the front side view. In this view you can see on the very front of the robot it has a sonar sensor, much like the old cameras in the late 70s and early 80s had. They can measure distance. It's got an uh, infrared sensor and a light sensor, a sound sensor. Of course it can talk and drive in all directions. And that was one of the earliest robots to uh, develop a personality over time. And initially, I just took these out of it, it had these two uh, 6 volt Batteries, which were still in there, thank goodness they hadn't leaked, but of course they were dead. So right now I've just wedged in there, because uh, the two 6 volts would be wired in series, a uh, 12 volt battery out of my UPS. And it's not in the center, it's off to one side, sitting inside the robot, so it's got a little bit off balance. Um, I got it as a kit, put it together, here you can see the, the date. And um, get this where you can kind of peruse some of the things that it can do. Start up turning it on, self diagnosis. It went through all of that when I initially powered it up, which was kind of boring because you had to set the clock, you have to set the date, the time, the clock, all kinds of crap, or it won't, uh, won't even play with you. It won't allow you to go any further. But have, once you've done that, you can program it to perform specific functions anytime you want, even years from now, assuming that the batteries had held a charge or was it was left on a charger. They uh, sold a separate remote control accessory. All of their robots had uh, accessories that you could add to them. Most of them would be like adding the arm to them. This particular one didn't have an arm feature. So this is featuring, uh, was saying what some of the f features are of it. Plan key allows you to program it. There's a guard key to use it as a room guard, an alarm key, which uh, can wake up at certain times and you can use it as an alarm clock. Setup key lets you modify the robot's personalities. Manual entry keyboard, you need that when you're uh, doing any of the things, the speak, the sing, the gab, any of that kind of stuff. Sleep mode. Who knows? Um, I think that was some of its gab, which is supposed to sound like. It followed her to school one day, that was against her rules. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. Three different alarm modes. I think I'll explore. Exploring never goes too at well in this narrow day. hallway, because it's always uh, bumping into stuff. right now. Pretty well jammed up against that. So now it'll just be scr scraping its way along. Let's see if I can uh, hit the sonar sensor and make it try to go another way. Okay. Plan mode. An example of Plan mode. Um, kind of a boring book unless you really need it. Goes through all entering all that robot wizard demo program. It had a it had a, a program that I used quite often. I remember for measuring because of the the sonar sensor that we talked about. That's in here. 
and you could go clear across the room and it would tell you how many feet and how many inches and it was always right on. I don't remember how to get into that mode, it's been so long. Uh, let's try the uh, speak and see what that does. I'm not seeing it doing anything. Hit reset. I've never pushed reset before, I just thought it's ready. Let's try speak. Speak. Enter two digits for the selection. Two digits, huh? How about one one? One. One. I can detect motion. Ready. I guess each one of the phrases must have a different number. Eleven as I can detect motion. Um, again, I don't think the demo is going to work well because I'm down this narrow hallway back by the pinball machines, but... Demo. I am hero to hear your personal robot. I am your friend, companion, and security guard. Let me demonstrate some of my capabilities. I can see light. Please wave your hand in front of my sensors. Was that your hand? I can measure distances. No, Please not. hold your hand a foot or so in front of me. Your hand is 90.3 inches in front of me. Now move your hand. Now your hand is 60.6 inches in front of me. I can hear sounds. Please clap your hands when my lights go out. Okay. To thank you, I can speak in English as I do it now. Or I can Did the first clap before the lights went out. That's why it only counted two. So now I was doing I can move about and avoid most obstacles. I can be your security guard. This looks like it should be protected. I'm now looking for an intruder. Someone moved in front of me. The password is three and claps. Intruder alert, intruder alert. You have five seconds to identify yourself. Alert aborted. You may pass, friend. You have heard me talk, talk, and listen. I can make my way from room to room. I can play games and tell time. You can control my personality from my keypad. Ready? So basically, you select different personalities and enter in the keypad and the booklet told you how to go about doing that. Um, Heathkit made a, a large number of robots, well actually three main ones, and the uh, most popular one was the Hero 1, and the uh, arm was sold as an option, which is almost as expensive as the robot itself, and the Hero 1 even had a breadboard up on top, so that you could breadboard your own circuits and sensors and tie them in, and it was also normally sold with a pendant for programming it, and you would drive it around and it would memorize. The, the wheels have encoders on them on these, so once you've programmed them, go a certain distance. It isn't just based on motor speed and time. It's actually counting revolutions of the motor and revolutions of the wheels, so it's fairly accurate in that respect. The uh, largest of the Hero, the Heath Kit ones, was the Hero 2000. And just like the others, the arm is sold as an accessory, which was almost as expensive as the robot itself. But it had a lot more sensors. You can see that... The ultrasonic one down there that the other one has, and then it's got a more sophisticated one there. But this was the most common one used by universities, colleges, and, and high schools in their training labs uh, for learning. Because when you build this up, it's all uh, a complete kit. I mean, you assemble the entire thing, the PC board, everything. So you'll learn a lot in the process of building one of the Heath kits. And um, I don't have enough room, really, 
you know, anywhere I let this thing run, it's going to bang into something I don't particularly want it to bang into, possibly. For example, if I was running it back here with the uh, pinball machines, it's just going to go under the pinball machine and the top of the robot might hit it or who knows what. So uh, I think that's about all the demo I can really do here. Um, if you wanted to hear the, the startup demo, see on the back you've got a uh, sleep mode switch. Here's your charger and uh, the main on off you have to use a tool to get to so let me just go ahead and go ahead and turn that off okay I believe it went off sorry about the camera angle but I have a tripod attached to it and trying to get down low and do this I don't know if I've successfully turned it off or on let me set this camera to the side so I can see what I'm doing. Here we go. Version 1.5. Check in memory. Testing block 0. 2048 bytes of memory. Check in sonar. Please wave your hand in front of my sonar. Sonar. Okay. Check in steering. It's moving steering. the steering okay. wheel on the bottom. Check in light sensor. Please wave your hand in front of my light sensor. Light sensor. Okay. Check in drive motor. Drive motor. Okay. Check in sound sensor. Sound sensor, okay. Check in motion detector. Please wave your hand in front of my motion detector. Motion detector, okay. Set clock and calendar. Yeah. So now it's going to make you set the clock and the clock. Time selected. Press enter to confirm or C to change. Enter. I'm not sure what it wants. I'll just hit anything. One. Enter date. Month. Month? Well, it's the 11th. One. One. Date. Ooh, it's not 11th. It's the 12th. It's December. We well, already screwed that up. So let's make up a day. Six. Oops, I should have went zero six. Zero. Year. Um. To, to enter time hours. I guess it doesn't matter. Two, two minutes. Four, four, a, four, a, n, b, four, p, n, a, n, Sunday, November sixty, nineteen, twenty two, twenty two, forty four. Press enter to confirm. So I can see uh, one issue with it would be it's always going to start with a enter. 19. So even though I had the 22 as a second year, I couldn't put in 2022. It's always going to be 1922. I wasn't listening to what it asked for. And you guys hear that? <laughs> one. One. Eight. One. One year to to November eleven nineteen twenty two press enter to confirm or C to change enter I am Piero Junior your personal robot I am your friend companion and security guard. Ready. So I guess it's ready for me to enter things, but I don't, I don't know. I'd have to read the book to do anything with it. Just thought you guys might want to see one actually running and working if you took the time to uh, read those 37 pages in that manual. You'd know how to play all the games or work all the controls or do all the speech and all that good stuff. Um, about the most we could do is hit demo win and watch it. Time out. Let's count and let's 
I guess it's playing the game on its own. Okay. Okay. So, I don't want to play that anymore. Let's uh, hit reset. Ready? There's a button up here that says uh, sing. Sing. Enter two digits for the selection. Twelve. One. Two. Daisy, Daisy, tell me your answer to there's a, a control on the side of it where you can actually adjust the pitch of the voice as well and of course the volume level so let's see what poet is poet Enter two digits for the selection. One, two, little Miss Muffet, set on eight of it. They call Ready. that poetry. Stop that. Play. Let's see what happens when we hit that. Play. Enter two digits for the selection. One, two, cowboys and robots. Play this game in a darkened room. Shine a flashlight directly into my light sensor. Yeah. I didn't come Ready. I didn't come equipped with a flashlight, so I can't play that game. See what happens when we push help. Help. Press another key for information about that key. Ready? Got alarm, you got guard. We've hit demo before. I think he's just gonna bump into shit. I am here all to hear your personal robot. I am your friend, companion, and security guard. Let me demonstrate some of my capabilities. I can see light. Please wave your hand in front of my sensors. Was that your hand? I can measure distances. Please hold your hand a foot or so in front of me. Your hand is 13.1 inches in front of me. Now move your hand. Now your hand is 8.1 inches in front of me. I can hear sounds. Please clap your hands when my lights go out. Okay. Seven. Thank you. I can speak in English as I do it now. Or I can make up my own. So basically, it isn't a toy instance. so much as a learning tool because you don't just turn it on and leave it. You would actually have to work with it to program and um, learn the key codes to put in in order to do particular things. And say it's a little bit tippy because I have that big heavy battery sitting on one side. It has three wheels on the bottom. The back two wheels are just uh, idler wheels, although they do have the counters on them for counting revolutions. The, uh, the front wheel, which is where the battery is near, is also the steering wheel. So that's why it's a little tippy on the front, because you got that heavy battery. Battery. You are an intruder. I have someone to police. You have heard me talk, look, and listen. I can make my way from room to room. Okay. I can play games and tell. I think you can control my personnel already. I think we've had enough of uh, Hero Junior here without uh, going through all the hassles of actually programming something and having it do it. You get the rough idea.